Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 10 of the Igneous Petrology series. In this lesson I'm going to be talking to you about ternary solid solution phase diagrams. So if you cast your mind back, solid solution essentially refers to one mineral that's composition changes with the evolving composition of the liquid, such as the example of plagioclase feldspar, which evolves from a calcium-rich end member of a norphite to a sodium-rich end member of albite. In a ternary solid solution diagram, we can depict that co-evolving with dark side. So we have albite, anorthite, dark side as our end members. We have two binary eutectic points, one between albite and dark side, and one between anorthite and dark side. We don't have a binary eutectic between the solid solution phases, anorthite and albite. We have our isotherm still. And we also have this solid black line, which represents a difference in solid solution between anorthite and albite. So here is 100% anorthite, here is 90% anorthite, 10% albite, 80%, 20%, 70%, 30%, etc., etc., all the way down. Okay. Between the binary eutectic points, we have our ternary cotectic line here that connects the two binary diagrams as temperature decreases from up here between anorthite and dark side downward towards here, between albite and dark side. If we start with an example of a system sitting around here, what we would do first is we know that we're in the field of plagioclase, so we're going to crystallize some form of plagioclase, but how do we work out what composition of plagioclase we're going to start with? Well, what we do is we draw a line through dark side, so our non-solid solution field in this case, draw a line through our current system, and where it intersects on the line between albite and anorthite is going to be the composition of the last plagioclase that we crystallize. So, as we knew before, here is around 58% anorthite, 42% albite, because of those, of those black lines that we're seeing there. So we know that that is going to be the composition of the final plagioclase that we crystallize. But how do we work out then what the first plagioclase we crystallize is going to be? But what we do is we draw that black line, blue in this case, of where as it intersects the ternary cotectic line, where our black line intersects the line between albite and anorthite. And that's going to tell us that the composition of the first plagioclase to crystallize is going to be around 85% anorthite, 15% albite. Now how the system evolves is, is quite difficult to depict in one slide. I'm going to give it a go. So what we would do at the start draw a line between our first plagioclase and our current system and then our green current system here is going to evolve down temperature on this line. As it does this our plagioclase is going to evolve compositionally with the liquid so if you picture all of these components moving at once the system will have this sort of arcuate pattern it's going to evolve sort of upward down there if you follow the cursor here evolving with this and this red line as well. So if you watch the two systems, it's going to be something like this. Okay, so I'll just reverse that and see that again. So essentially, if you picture a new blue line at every increment, you can break it down to as many increments as you like. But what that would be is this line would eventually rotate to be in line with one of these black solid lines here. Okay, and we could draw a line and it would be in place there. So now we fit that cotectic line. Our plagioclase has a composition of around 76% anorthite, 24% albite. And now we're going to crystallize diopside with our plagioclase. From the start, we already know that the last plagioclase we're going to crystallize sits here at around 58% anorthite. So now we're going to use these solid black lines and we're going to evolve the green with our current plagioclase downward until we intersect the initial plagioclase we worked out from the start, something like this. We could then draw a line to show where they intersect, and then this would be where our system finishes. So we started crystallizing plagioclase around 85% anorthite, and we finished with our final plagioclase of around 58% anorthite. I hope you found this introduction to solid solution phase diagrams useful. You can stay in the loop by clicking subscribe. Thank you for listening.